Hi everyone, welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. So it's the 20th anniversary of the MMORPG World of Warcraft. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, but yeah, they're doing a crossover event with Diablo Immortal, which is really cool. So those of you who are a fan of Diablo Immortal and World of Warcraft, this is going to be really exciting. I only played World of Warcraft for a short amount of time, only for a few weeks. I think it was after I stopped playing Final Fantasy XI online which was a super tough MMO. And I jumped into World of Warcraft for, for a while to try it. It was really easy at the time and I didn't stick around for long. I think I moved over to Lord of the Rings Online or one of the other MMOs. But um, yeah, my MMO RPG days on PC are over. So it's mainly Diablo Immortal that I'm playing as my online MMO at the moment. Um, but let's take a look to see what this update has in store. This is a really cool piece of artwork as well. I really appreciate all the different artworks they put into, a, into their blogs. Uh, this one is really cool. So it's saying, Greetings adventurers, celebrate the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft with an epic crossover event, Eternal War. So it's from November the 13th, 3am to December the 11th, local server time. Dive into the colliding realms of Diablo Immortal and World of Warcraft. Okay, so um, unite with fellow adventurers and confront the Lich King of, on his frozen throne, okay? Um, battle in the throes of the Cutthroat Basin and claim the new Mournskull legendary gem. Okay, so we've got a new legendary gem. That's pretty cool. Prepare yourself. The fate of the sanctuary hangs in the balance. So let's take a look to see what we've got in the codex. So we're going to cover legendary Eternal War login rewards, free loot, embark on the Eternal War, Battle the Lich King in Fallen Citadel. Face off in Cutthroat Basin. Um, Clash of Saviors limited time event. I wonder if that's just a uh, free loot every day. Um, new Morn Skull two star legendary gem. Let's see what that's like. Uh, we've got a new familiar skin as well, Murloc, and Betrayer's Bonds Phantom Market, aka Cash Cow. Uh, claim Azeroth's Doom in the Living Dead. Off the Living Dead, sorry. And loot awaits in World of Warcraft. Okay, so the first thing is Legendary Eternal War Login Rewards. So free loot, can't say no to that. Enter Sanctuary to claim free rewards within the first few tiers of the Eternal War while the event is live. So what do we get? Also, we get the two-star Legendary Gem uh, for one of the Login Rewards. That's pretty cool. Um, we get one new World of Warcraft Weapon Skin. Ten Legendary Crests, that's really cool as well. We get the Frostmourne Weapon Cosmetic. And a pathway portal. Okay, so that's pretty cool for free items. Um, especially getting the 10 legendary chests and the two-star gem as well. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. Definitely going to be getting all those. It's going to be good fun. Embark on the Eternal War. The Lich King's legions are closing in, spreading the icy influence beyond Azeroth into the perilous world of Sanctuary. Warriors from every corner must heed the course to arms, for only the bravest can stand against ancient and malevolent force who dares challenge such immense power. So this is from November the 13th, 3 a.m. to December the 11th. So earn frozen boons by completing daily tasks, completing the cutthroats, cutthroats bezin, and facing the Lich King in the Fallen Citadel. Earning these frozen boons will help you progress through the Eternal War to earn coveted rewards. Okay, so it's one of those things where you log in each time, um, do a few sort of daily tasks. I guess one of them is the uh, cutthroat event, and you sort of maybe have to fight the Lich King in the... A sort of a short raid um and then each time you do that you'll collect rewards to redeem while the eternal war earn within the eternal war earn weapon skins for each class transforming them into the most legendary weapons from across azeroth's entire history one of these skins skins will be granted to you within the first few ranks of the eternal war you can also progress in the event towards claiming both a horde and an alliance banner complete the entire entire internal war to earn the for the horde and for the alliance emojis oh cool so some nice looking um items here i quite look like the look of all the different colors and they're all class based i guess let's have a look oh yeah they are the following weapon skins are available for each class okay so you get one for the necromancer barbarian demon hunter crusader wizards tempest blood knight and the monk so yeah i'll look forward to the shadow morn because i'm a, a necromancer and um, hopefully the others look quite nice as well. Um, yeah, got a nice list there. For those of you who are a fan of World of Warcraft, I think you'll obviously recognise these names. I don't really know them too much, um, but I'll keep an eye out for what they look like on the other classes. Oh, I really like the shield, actually, for the Necromancer. Yeah, it's quite nice. It might fit in well with the cosmetic I'm using. If I can, 
if I'm allowed to equip that weapon and shield with the cosmetic um, armor that I've got. That's quite cool. I do like the look of that one. I, I might have to equip that Crusader one. And it's quite nice with the glowing light in the shape of like a, a cross. Uh, we've got a Tempest one, very minimalistic there. Got a nice blue glow on the on the dagger. Uh, the Blood Knight one. Yeah, not bad. Pretty cool. Okay, so then we've got Battle the Lich King in Fallen Citadel. I reckon this might be just the is it a Cavern of Echoes fight. It might just be a quick raid boss that you can kill within a few seconds. Um, as one of the greater threats to all of to all Azeroth, the Lich King has slain countless warriors who attempt who attempted to challenge his reign. From November the 13th to December the 11th, local server time face the leader of the Scrouge and defend Sanctuary from his chilling grasp. So you're going to have an icy theme here. I'm guessing he's going to go down pretty quickly. Uh, defeat the Lich King for a chance at World of Warcraft Legendary Weapon Cosmetics. Um, so yeah, this will be fine. It'll be one of those things where you just get around and party and sort of kill him fairly quickly each day just to get those uh, rewards you need for the cosmetics. But hopefully it's good fun. Um, it says it's epic battle. I doubt it's going to be that epic, but we'll find out. And it's going to be a nice icy setting. There are also two random skill orbs that you'll, will help you fight the Lich King. Tranquilizing Shot and Healing Circle. Okay. Um, maybe he might be a bit of a challenge. Let's find out. So, uh, yeah, I'll look forward to checking it out. And I'll probably do a video of uh, doing this fight and see how tricky it is. Or if he does just go down within a few hits. And if you don't need those items to help you, we'll find out. So to battle the Lich King, you'll need to transport yourself to the Frozen Throne by earning Fallen Citadel Gates um, from Dungeon Contest content, sorry, from Dungeon Content Login Rewards and as a rare drop from Monster Kills during the event. Okay, so it's for in the Frozen Throne by earning Fro Fallen Citadel Gates. Okay, so you do the various different events, get those items and then transport yourself and then sort of fight the Lich King. All right. Let's find out what that's like. I'm, I'm more interested in this one. Face off in Cutthroat Basin. So I'm just trying to see the picture to see if it's uh, if there's any clues. There's a lot of people fighting there. I bet it's not going to be like that when we actually get to do it. The forces of the Alliance and the Horde war against each other. With the battlefield echoing the din of sword against axe, tooth on tusk. Uh, okay, so if we've got any information about what kind of battle it is. From November the 13th to December the 11th, local server time. Oh, is it Conqueror? Really? Conqueror is the ultimate PvP test between these two legendary factions. The Cutthroat Bezin is inspired by the look of Arathi Bezin, complete with mill, smithy and stables, and capture these to for your side. Okay, uh, right, okay. To edge towards victory fight with the alliance to display your bravery or side with the horde to fiercely uphold your honor so is it pretty much conqueror but in a world of warcraft skin um i don't really know who mill smithy are uh and arathi bezin because i didn't play world of warcraft for long enough but, but those of you who do will probably appreciate the setting and the change of scenery that they've done in conqueror i wonder if they've just copy pasted the conqueror code and just literally we're just playing conqueror with just a new skin um, it says features the mode of Conqueror, which has character level items and gem levels normalized for fair play. These are also four random types of skill orbs to look out for, which you can aid you in battle. So I won't think these are new. Blessings of King, Stealth, Eagle Eye, and Blink. Okay, so they've mixed up Conqueror a bit, um, maybe made it a bit more exciting. Uh, but okay, so same game concept, I guess, but with World of Warcraft. Uh, looking theme yeah it might be pretty good uh, let's see what it's like compared to normal conqueror but yeah i'm guessing that's what it's like and there's a uh, for more information on conqueror please visit this article so yeah it's pretty much conqueror rules um claiming victory within cutthroat basin will earn you progress towards the eternal war event so we'll see how many event rewards we can redeem for doing this um hopefully it doesn't take too long to get through it i wonder if they've got the six minute win reward as well like with conqueror we'll see if that's still there as well but uh the setting change will be quite nice because we're used to playing conqueror for quite a long time it'll be nice to see that change of scenery so that's pretty cool i'm looking forward to that clash of saviors limited time event 
So let's see what this is all about. So from the depths of the Shadowlands, whispers in the ancient evil, whispers of an ancient evil, passed from tavern to merchant, sending shivers through even the bravest adventurers. So this is from November the 6th, a bit earlier, to November 17th, server time. So adventurers over level 30 will glimpse the dawn of a new age. During this event, you will also reap 100% boost to experience gained from battle pass levels. Fantastic. So this is going to be a great time to boost your XP if you need to. Uh, definitely make the most out of this and uh, grab all of the XP rewards as we can get. The following rewards will be available on login. So day two, you'll get a rare crest. Really, only one rare crest. That's a bit cheap, but okay. <laughs> a rare crest. Um, November the 9th reward is probably the best out of the three. We get a Telluric Pearl and um, yeah, that's really, really good. I need as many as I get as I need another um, Blood Soaked Jade I'm trying to save up my pearls for. And we just get one Legendary Crest on November the 13th. I would have been nice if we've got maybe seven Rare Crests and maybe five Legendary Crests or something. Um, especially as it's quite a big crossover event, but... Yeah, not going to complain too much. At least we do get two crests there. Uh, log in to claim your specific rewards on a day. They're active starting at 3 a.m. server time. So that's free loot we get there. Okay, and this is the one I'm interested in as well. So we get a new Mourn Skull. It's a two-star legendary gem. I wonder if we're going to get any bonus rewards, uh, bonus sort of drop rate for this. Uh, what do we? What does it say here? So... Um, this powerful legendary gem draws its name from the infamous Lich King. Log in during Eternal War to claim a free Mourn Skull legendary gem. So at least they're giving one out for free so you can try out, see what it's like. And if you do like it, then maybe you can, um, you know, craft more or, um, you know, just use more legendary crests in uh, the Elder Rift to see if you want to get any more and level, uh, sort of rank them up. Um, so let's see what it does. So while equipped... Dealing damage causes the spirit of the Lich King from within Mournskull to drain the spirits of nearby enemies, granting you royal dominion, which increases all damage you deal with a bonus for every nearby enemy. Okay, that's quite cool. So it's an offensive gem. Um, I wonder what the animation is going to look like for the spirits as well. That might be cool to see. While royal dominion is active, your attacks will also unleash two vile spirits at nearby enemies every second that deal base damage. To the enemies they haunt. Oh, this is really cool for like a. Um, it goes well with it. My a necromancer actually, if it's doing haunting, I get some haunting from a uh, ray form. Um, so if I also get haunting from this two star as well, it might be a nice two star offensive legendary gem. Um, yeah, I'll definitely test this one out. So you got a twenty second cooldown, which isn't too bad to be honest. But increasing your damage, and then also having the two vile spirits that. Uh, at nearby enemies every second um so i wonder if that's yeah damage over time and you get the haunting as well so yeah that's pretty cool that might work well with the other legendary gems that i've got i might i might be interested in this one actually to add that in uh so we've got murloc invasion familiar skin <laughs> i like the look of that one um that's that's quite fun i, I i'm tempted to get that that is a cool uh familiar skin so this is the Murloc from World of Warcraft. The features of Santry's many ports trade suspicious tales of amphibious activity. They exchange boasts of witnessing small creatures with warbling croaks gurgling in the many eddies and swamps that dot the land. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'd like the blue one. That, they do look quite funny. And um, I'm tempted to try getting that. So how do we get this? During Eternal War, claim your own Murloc familiar skin. This skin has unique master angler traits, which will occasionally double the fish you catch. Oh my god. Okay, so it's just got a fishing trait. I was hoping it's gonna have something which actually helps, but no, fishing is great if you're uh if you want to build up legendary fish, um, which you can use to claim XP, especially on a Monday reset. Um so yeah, for it's nice to switch over to that one when you are doing sort of some AFK fishing time. Uh, beware the eager hook for there are also well-worn shoes and bombs which can be dragged up from the seafloor. So I wonder if you're going to get troll loot whilst using this familiar. That's that's quite amusing. Um, if you're feeling that fortune may favour the bold, you can even earn the elusive Merlot skin. Yeah, I like this one. I like the Tide Lurker one. May you delight and joy or the pain 
brought to you by this unique creature. So that's more of a fun uh, update. So then we've got Betrayer's Bond Phantom Market. So this is the new Phantom Cosmetic. Um, looks very demonic, very green. Um, you're very bold, quite deadly, menacing. For those of you who like that green look, this is pretty cool to have. From the shadows, a turn cloak emerges wreathed in darkness and powerful ambition, but the power of chaos comes at a terrible price. For those who choose to seek its dark offerings, also prepare to face consequences, consequences of their ambition. So this is the Betrayer's Bond new Phantom Market, available from November the 13th to December the 11th. It's not really felt like it's been long since the Halloween Phantom Market, so this is just going to be a cash cow for those who can't resist getting cosmetics uh, and Phantom Markets. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you're really into this one, if you do really like it and want to throw away the old cosmetics straight away and switch over to this one and okay, fair play. Um, it's not too bad. It's very green. And if you, if, it, if that's the theme that you like, then yeah, definitely try go for it. But, um, obviously just be, don't be too silly with how much you throw into the <laughs> phantom cosmetic to try and get it, um, know your limits. Um, so well, what else information do we have here? So uh, both cosmetic effects will be yours upon acquiring the Betrayer's Bond cosmetic set and can be worn with other cosmetics. Both the kill streak effect and Nimbus will be unusable 30 days after you initially acquire them that will remain in the cosmetics tabs of the inventory. So yeah, I mean, you pay that money to get the Phantom cosmetic and it's only available for 30 days. Um, I've not ever bought any Phantom cosmetics in this game since the launch. Um, there's not actually been one that's been released that I really, really like that I've been interested in. Maybe when do one does come out, I might think about getting one because I've not had one before, but, um, I think they're a bit of a waste of money, but that's just my opinion. Um, but reaching milestone rewards will earn you the main portal, slaying demons emoji, distant longing emoji, and plague reaper bloom portal. Um, okay. So here are the drop rates. So you've got the emoji you've got the 60 percent one and then you've got some iron gambit weapons you've got silver bronze um and then you've got armor and you can see like the drop rates there uh 0.76 percent uh, they come up with that one and uh betrayer's bonds cosmetics at 0.13 yeah that doesn't sound very tempting to me but yeah there you go another phantom cosmetic on the way then we've got claim azeroth's doom of the living dead what do we get here so from the Great Anvil of Ironforge, attain King Magni Bronzebeard's finest tool against a force of darkness. From November the 13th to December the 11th, head to the in-game shop to purchase any of the Ashbringer's bundles and to view them to view all the Eternal War limited time cosmetics. So we've got the Ashbringer cosmetic, which looks like this. Yeah, not too bad. Corrupted Ashbringer, for those of you who like the green look. Oh, is that it? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we, there's two two of those cosmetics. And for those of you who play World of Warcraft, I wonder if they're giving out loot. Um, that looks like this. So let's see what they say. The bonds that influence Sanctuary appear to have also taken root in Azeroth, bringing otherworldly splendor unseen to this land. While Eternal War event is active, log into Diablo Immortal on a character level 10 or above to earn a treasure nabbing bag cosmetic in world of warcraft the war within uh may your blades stay sharp and your spells be powerful okay so yeah if for those of you who do play world of warcraft and diablo immortal you're going to be um happy to know that you're going to get a free cosmetic for this crossover event which is pretty cool and yeah that covers all of the um, event updates and this crossover updates that we're going to get for this 20th anniversary world of warcraft x diablo immortal crossover event so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that video and sort of hearing about all the different uh, updates that we're going to get coming our way. So yeah, it's good that they're doing all these updates. It's nice to get plenty of content coming in the game. Um, I think the ones I'm looking forward to the most are definitely that... Oh, I'm curious to see what that uh, Cutthroat Basin um, looks like, you know, the sort of the environment and um, with the same Conqueror rules. It might be a nice change and definitely the two-star Legendary Gem... I might actually use that one. I'll see what I can replace though. Um, I'm trying to think. I've got Mother's Lament. Do I really want to swap out Mother's Lament for that one? It's got a lot of critical hit and um, other bonuses. Either that or Pain Clasp. 
but the pain class seems to work quite nicely with um Morn Skull if it's gonna do haunting and um yeah I'm gonna have to see with that one and um what else you've got the the familiar skin looks quite fun as well um and uh, obviously fighting the Lich King might be cool to get those rewards but yeah we get those um 10 legendary crests as well and we get the Teleric Pearl we get some rare crests um so you know free free loot can't complain too much and I'll probably check out this uh necromancer um the shield that we're going to get as well uh, i quite look, like the look of this one so i'll see what that looks like on my character so yeah that's it for this video we have the eternal war crossover ev over event coming our way in diablo immortal um let's look forward to it let's check it out and see how fun it is so uh happy anniversary to world of warcraft happy 20th anniversary and for those who are playing world of warcraft i hope you're still enjoying that game and for those who are playing Diablo Immortal, yeah, hope you enjoy this update. We'll check it out once it goes live. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.